Welcome to Decoded by Christina. Today I'm going to share some tips on how to customize your settings in the VS Code text editor and add extensions to improve your workflow. Let's get started. VS Code is a popular choice for text editors because of its versatility. To view the customization options, go to the main menu and select Settings. Then select Settings again in the submenu. You can also click the gear icon, then select Settings. Before we look at these options, let's use one of the built-in features, Split Editor Right. Click the icon that looks like two columns to view multiple files side by side. In this example, I have the settings page open on one side and an example HTML file on the other, which will be used to show how these settings are applied. The different options are grouped into categories, starting with some commonly used settings, such as whether you want your files to autosave. I compulsively save my files, so I usually just leave the default setting, which is set to off. You can also change the font size used in the editor here, if you want it bigger or smaller. The font family can also be changed, but I usually leave it at the default. Some settings are applied right away, while others may require a restart or a change to a related setting. For example, you can also set the number of spaces one tab should be equal to when using indentation in your code. If I change the tab size now, it won't affect the current example page since I've already used a two space tab on this page. This is because this setting is overridden based on the file contents when editor detect indentation is on. If I create a new page, the change will be applied. To apply the settings to existing pages, click the link in the note to turn the editor detect indentation option off. The tab setting change will then be applied to the current file. Now, when you hit the tab key, it will use four spaces. But I recommend keeping this default setting on to maintain consistent formatting by detecting what is already used for the indentation on the current page. While settings can be changed, using the defaults generally work fine as well. But there is one default setting that I always make sure to change, Word Wrap. To change this setting, scroll to Editor Word Wrap or use the search bar at the top. The default setting is off, which means that each line without a line break does not wrap. So any content that goes beyond the width of the editor will require horizontal scrolling to view the content. The on option will wrap the text to the width of the editor window. Word wrap column allows you to set a specific width for text wrapping, regardless of the size of the editor window. To set the width, navigate to editor word wrap column and enter a numerical value without any units. The bounded option will wrap the text to the width of the editor window or to the word wrap column width, whichever is smaller. Another setting I like to modify is the theme, which is applied to the editor's UI as well as the syntax highlighting for the code. To access the theme settings, navigate to Workbench Appearance, then select Color Theme, or click the gear icon and choose Themes Color Theme. A keyboard shortcut is also available. On a Mac, use Command KT. Control KT should work on a PC. The editor comes with a few pre-installed light and dark themes to choose from, but you can also install more themes by adding extensions. In the sidebar, click the icon that looks like four blocks to search for extensions. I'll use the word theme for my search. Select a theme extension from the list of results to view more information about it. To install it, just click the install button. Before using VS Code, I used to use the Atom text editor and I really liked their themes. So I'll add both the Atom Dark and Atom Light themes to this editor. VS Code extensions also offer a range of options for adding a variety of features. One useful extension that I like to add is Live Server. This extension launches a local server and automatically reloads the browser as soon as you save the file. We're gonna use this one by Ritwick Day Select Install to add it to the editor. When making updates to your files, the process usually starts with making a change, saving the file, then refreshing the page in the browser to see the updates. With Live Server installed, start by opening the HTML file in the editor and click Go Live from the bottom of the editor. The file will then automatically open in your default browser. Now, whenever you make a change and save the file, the browser will automatically refresh. This feature is useful when making frequent changes. Instead of manually refreshing the browser after every file save, it will automatically update. These are just a few settings and extensions to help you get started, but there are more that you may find useful. 
Browse through the settings to see what else is available or check out the editor's documentation. You can also explore more features by visiting the VS Code Extensions Marketplace website. To learn more about customizing your text editor and other workflow tips, check out my course on LinkedIn Learning. The link is in the description below. That wraps up this edition of Decoded by Christina. Until next time, bye!